Today, let us talk about the gradient tool and pain bucket tool. Pain bucket tool fills solid colors and gradient color fills two or more than two colors blending together and it gives a different effect. Let us see how the paint bucket tool works. I have a new canvas here. And here you can see two small squares. The top small square indicates for foreground color. The bottom is background color. When we use the paint bucket tool, it fills the foreground color. You click here, you get the foreground color. Control Z to undo. There is a shortcut to fill this. We can use Alt and Backspace. Undo, Control Z. If you press Control and Backspace, you fill. You can fill with the background color. Background color is filled. Control Z. So Alt and Backspace fill the foreground color. Control and Backspace fill the background color. So that is about the paint bucket, which fills the one color, one solid color. If you want to change the color, you click here and select whichever color you want. Keep it as a background image, background color. Then you can use the paint bucket to fill. Foreground color is filled. Maybe Come to gradient color. When I select the gradient, you can see here a small arrow. If you press here, there are different type of patterns available. Let's go to the first pattern. If you keep your cursor for a few minutes, then it shows you that the first pattern selection gives you foreground to background color blending from green to blue. So if you show a line like this, you can see that it is filled from the foreground color, which is green to background to blue, like this. Control Z. If I show from bottom to top, the first color, the foreground color is green, it mixes and comes to the background color. If you use this arrow and use the second option, that means four down to transparent. Let me open an image. I have an image here. Suppose I use the first option, which is a four down to background color gradient. So if I show, align this to line this. It fills the full. You can't see what is below it because it is providing a solid color gradient. Control Z. Let me create a new layer. A new layer has been created here. If I just show like this, it fills the gradient because this is solid. There is no transparency here. Control Z. If I select the second option, this one. This is actually foreground color to transparency. Our foreground color is green. From there, it comes to transparency. So let me show that again. You can see that foreground color to transparency comes. So whenever we want to see a image, we have to use the transparent type of gradient. When I use the third, which is black and white, it starts from black to white. It's again solid only, solid gradient. You can't see the picture below it. So let us, uh, this 
gradient tool, there are different type of uh, gradients. The first one is called the linear. That is what we have done. If you show a line like this, it start from the first, from the foreground color to background color. Now he is using this third option. So he is not using the foreground color here because we have taken this black and white. Okay. If you use the second option, it is called the radial. Suppose I show you like this. You can see that it creates a round radial. Third option is You can see here, third option, angle gradient, angular gradient. If I again show a line, line like this, you can show that it's created in an angular way. Start from here, comes here. Next one is reflected gradient. Reflected gradient, if I say like this, You can say that uh, reflected gradient. You can say that uh, black, white this side, white this side. Same color, one side will be reflected to other side. So that is the reflected type. And the last one is the gradient. So last one is the last one is diamond gradient. It creates like a radial, it creates a you say like this diamond type. So these are the different type of gradient, linear, radial, which creates in a circular pattern, angular, reflected, it shows both the side the same color, diamond gradient. I hope you got some idea now. So let me select this one linear. Okay. I will click it here so that I will go to gradient editor. Gradient editor. Now in the gradient editor, you can see two boxes here, two boxes here also. The bo bottom box control the color. So this indicate for the starting point, which is black. The second is white here. So if I click this here, I can change the color to another color. I'll create a yellow color. I can also get this color tool by double clicking this. I will click here, double click. I will select red color. Now you can see that it is starting from yellow to red. Okay. Yellow to red. Yellow to red. So you are again back to gradient editor. In the gradient editor, you can see different type of patterns already presets are there. You can use whichever you want. Some presets are transparent, some are not. I can add, now I have only two colors. I can add more colors if I want. I will just go down here. And this yellow to red, it is changes. You can, blending can be adjusted by moving this. See, the blending can be adjusted by moving that point. Same way you can adjust blending. You can see that almost yellow fold here, then slowly it changes. So this box can be adjusted. 
So here we have yellow color. Here we have red color. So now we have only two colors. We can add our own colors. Let me, if you want to add another color here, just you can see that when you go down, it creates a hand, click there. So it creates a new color point here, color box, click it. It is yellow now because it's yellow. I will change it to blue. You can see that from that particular point, blue, blue is coming. I can create another color here. Click here, click that. I want to create a green. Now you see from yellow to blue, this is the middle point, green, red. So I have four colors now. Okay. I have four colors. I have four colors now. This is how you create your own customized pattern. Click here, gradient editor. You can save this custom my pattern, save. You can give if a name you want. I clicked here, clicked in new, so it came here now. When I click new, I have created a new here. Now I can save the full pattern uh, by giving a name and other thing, I can give a name. Okay. So the bottom boxes gives you an option to add colors. And depending on the moving, the position of these boxes, the blending position also changes. Blending position also changes. Okay. When you think about the top position, if you just move the top position, no changes, nothing is changed. The top boxes control the opacity or the transparency. You know that now this. It's solid. If I have the image, I will close this. I'll have one more open that uh, image again. So this is the pattern we created. If you apply, you see that it gives all the colors, but it is solid now. There is no transparency. We have to have some transparency that. So go to gradient edit and you have to address these positions of these boxes. When you select the first box, you can see that it is 100% opacity. Suppose I make it to 50%. You can see that it is complete transparent now. can adjust the position of that transparency wherever you want full. You can use this also. So now 50%, it is transparent. Okay, let me control Z this to remove this. Control Z, control R T Z, control R Z, yeah. Now let me, now it is transparent now. I can put this now here. You see that my all color have come and it became transparent also. So this top positions control the transparency how you want. You see here too much, uh, you can reduce, you can change this also, make it to 75%. It's applying top of that, so I will say control or delete. Now I will apply. 
you see, the thickness reduced because I made the opacity 75% there. So this is how you use this uh, gradient bar, adjustment bar. So bottom boxes control the color and top for opacity or transparency. So we can click this and make it to 100%, 100. Click this to again 100. So now it is only a solid one. There is no transparency. If you want this side, Select this one, give transparency, 55%. If you want more control, you can add. Again, you can add the boxes here. Top uh, opacity box, you can add here. See now. This I will 100%. This is 100%. You can see. You can adjust this position. So we can add any number of opacity box also and control the opacity, adjust the transparency. Control, Alt, Z. I can use the adjustment layer. Suppose I create an adjustment layer, gradient. You can see it select whichever pattern you want. It's a solid one, solid, solid. This is transparent, transparent. This is transparent. No, this is transparent. So you can use this also. Okay. Adjustment there also you can use to give you the gradient. So by clicking here, you can select any pattern you want. You can create your own pattern. Then we can make use of this gradient. I hope you got idea about the gradient tool. Let us move on to Dodge, burn, and sponge tool. Let me explain you what is a dodge tool, what's a burn tool, what's a sponge tool. The shortcut is, there is no much shortcut there. O, shortcut is O. So let us, uh, now let us move on to dodge tool, burn tool, sponge tool. The shortcut is O. Let me open a new drawing. I have opened a new drawing here. In the dodge tool, it adds more lights. Let me create a copy of this control J and I will give a name dodge. D O D G E dodge. Now I will select the dodge tool. And dodge tools lightens. You can see that it is lightens. It lightens the image. I will make a little smaller the. Okay. So it lightens uh, here. So your skin became a little light now. You can see the difference. The original. 
after dodge applying original after applying dodge so dodge creates light effect you can lighten the image okay now let us see what is a burn tool let me take a copy again i will go to the original again i will switch up this one i'll go to the original again control j give this name as burn tool burn i will select the burn tool now so this is my original i am in the burn tool i will off this even it is one no problem even if it is one no problem let it be there now it is darkens so burn means it darkens you can adjust the flow exposure everything from here now 50% adjustment i'm making here now we can compare with the original you see the original was like this after applying the burn your skin became little darker so it is used for darkening the image darkening the image so the burn tool is used to darken an image dodge tool is used into lighten an image okay let us move on to the third one which is a sponge tool sponge tool let me open another image Let me open this image. I have an image here. When you are in the sponge tool, there are two options available. Desaturate means make black and white. Saturate means increase more color. So I am in the desaturate now. I want to make this black and white. Their their faces black and white. I want to make. so i will use the desaturate button desaturate here and flow 50% okay i will create a copy here so we will make a comparison control j so this is for sponge by sponge you can control you can make it black and white or you can make increase the color now i will use my tool you can just release mouse and do it again so that uh, it will be you can apply like that so it is uh, desaturating it is in reducing the color because you are in the desaturate mode some color it will take lot of time you have to do lot of time you can see that face has been changed to black and white so there this sponge is used you can make it to black and white you are in the desaturated means you are reducing the color so it became black and white if you want the full drawing black and white there is another method okay so we can find the difference now it was original while like this after applying the sponge i made it black and white 
in the sponge i applied a d saturate that means reducing the color we'll make another copy we'll bring another image open this image i want to make little add more color here little bit so i will use here instead of d saturate i will select saturate that means you will be adding color more color you can see that color is getting increased added so this is sponge with the saturate so i could have taken the copy of this let me undo this let me make a new layer control j so this is the one sponge so sponge i am using saturate i am in the saturation even i can increase the flow by increasing or just the flow and other thing here this is how you do it now even you can change the mode and do different things so i change desaturate mean black and white re re remove the color saturate mean add the color okay so dodge tool for lightening burn tool darkening sponge tool increase or decrease the color 